making the famous ratatouille soup. Where is the soup? A lovely chunk of butter, generous amount of olive oil, fresh garlic, one chopped onion, add a little bit of spice. I mean, just listen to that. Time for some mushrooms, white wine. Pour yourself a bit while you're at it. Now for some veggie stock. Add the potatoes and try not to make a mess like I did. Lastly, we've got double cream. Making garlic bread with a nice amount of butter, olive oil, herbs and chopped garlic. You can make this using any type of bread. I used baguettes since we're in France. 10 out of 10. I think we can all agree that the ratatouille from Ratatouille looks so delicious and this scene literally gives me chills every time. Like how could you not want to try it? So I was like, I'm gonna make it. So I started off by dicing up some carrots, celery, and onion the day before so things could just go a little quicker. And the next day I began by roasting some bell peppers and a jalapeno to get a smoky flavor. Then I let the steam, peel the skin, and chop them up. And for the sauce, I sauteed the mirepoix, added in the garlic, peppers, crushed tomatoes, herbs, salt and pepper, and some fresh thyme. And I let that simmer while I sliced up the vegetables with a mandolin it really makes everything easier but if you're ever using one be super careful i literally sliced a layer of skin off my finger with this thing before it's not pretty but i arranged the vegetables in a nice pattern drizzled this garlic and thyme mixture on the top and salt and pepper then baked it really low and slow at 250 degrees and after like three hours it was done and then i plated it so that it looks just like the movie with a little chive on the top but to make it a more filling meal i served it with some rice and it was so delicious Olive oil, baby! Minced garlic. Add the spinach and saute it until it looks like this. Move it to a bowl, add some cheese, and an egg yolk. Save the whites for later. Mix all that together. Take a sheet of puff pastry, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. Now unfold it and cut along those lines. Add a little bit of your spinach mixture to each one. Now take a brush, dip it in that egg white we saved. Gently brush two opposite tips. Now bring them together and fold them on top of each other. Place them on a baking sheet and brush the tops with the egg wash. Now these are gonna bake for 15 minutes at 400 degrees until they're golden brown. Boom, baby! Ooh, these look so good! Okay, Kronk, let's see how they are. Oh, these are incredible! Good job, Kronk. Fist bump. And don't forget your drink. It can't be! Uh... Like this post so you can make this later and follow for more recipes.
Hey everyone, it's Ariana, and I think we can all agree that Tiana's beignets and the Princess and the Frog look so unbelievably good. Today we're making them at home, and they're just as good as they look. In a mixer, stir together a cup and a fourth of warm milk plus a teaspoon and a half of yeast, and let this bloom for a few minutes. Then add a third of a cup of sugar and one and a half cups of flour. And once that's all combined into a batter, you can add an egg, two tablespoons of butter, and an additional two cups of flour. Switch over to the dough hook and mix it for about five minutes on setting two, and then about two minutes on setting four. After your dough should be all smooth and fluffy, you can also do these steps by hand, but it's just a little bit of a workout. Cover your bowl with plastic and then set it into a warm place to rise for about two hours. Once your dough has doubled in size, punch it down using your fist and then roll it out to about a third of an inch thickness. Cut out squares to the size you like and then heat your oil over medium high, adding your beignets in. You want to make sure that it's bubbling so that they'll fluff up right away. Make sure to keep an eye on them because they brown super quickly and then I finish them off with a little drizzle of honey and a mound of powdered sugar. Check out the full recipe on my Instagram where I reply to all my followers' comments. Welcome to Disney Food Day 3. We're making the gray stuff. Mix a box of instant vanilla pudding mix with one and a half cups of milk. Now let this firm up in the fridge for 10 minutes. 15 Oreos. Take the cream out. Blend them in a food processor, but I don't have one, so I'm using a blender. Hope this works. Oh yeah! Add your Oreos into your pudding. Mix. Now add one tub of Cool Whip and two tablespoons of instant chocolate pudding. Yum! I should have used a bigger bowl. Now do a little mix. Piping bag, star tip. Transfer your gray stuff into the bag. Now pipe it into your dish. Sprinkles. And taste test. Whoa, it's so fluffy. This is indeed delicious. I asked my dishes and they said it was good too. Comment what Disney food I'm making next and follow for more recipes. I love you, bye.